Arkansas Farm Bureau leaders endured a rare winter storm in Atlanta to attend American Farm Bureau's 92nd annual convention. Snow and ice blanketed Atlanta, making travel difficult during AFBF's annual meeting, but it didn't hamper convention activities. In his annual address, President Bob Stallman announced the organization is one of 23 who have formed the U.S. Farmers and Ranchers Alliance. The alliance was created to reach consumers with positive messages about American agriculture and counter the negative propaganda they are being fed by anti-agriculture groups. In the business session, voting delegates adopted a sense of the delegate body resolution urging Congress to pursue vigorous oversight of the Environmental right, Protection Agency to temper its aggressive regulatory program. In his news conference, Stallman said this is the greatest threat facing agriculture in 2011. But I think the biggest challenge we face is going to be, you know, the regulatory structure that is either demanded by society or that is put in place by those uh, who are uh, opposed to, philosophically opposed to what we do as an industry. Uh, and I think the biggest battles in 2011, uh, for the most part, are going to be regulatory. Reaching consumers with the message that agricultural producers are good neighbors, protect the environment, and humanely care for their animals is more immediate now with the growing reach of social media. Susan Anglin, former chair of the State Women's Committee, attended a conference in Atlanta on how utilizing Facebook, Twitter, and other tools is an effective way of reaching a large number of consumers with their message. We've got to tell our story. You can tell it through Facebook, you can tell it through Twitter, you can tell it by blogging. And I would encourage people to really look at this and get serious about it because it's a way we can reach so many more people. In the Young Farmer and Rancher competitions, Robbie Beavis of Lone Oak County participated in the YFNR discussion meet and did well, advancing to the Sweet 16. The state's exhibit in the Farm Bureau Showcase highlighted the organization's outreach efforts. It attracted large numbers of visitors who learned about Arkansas commodities by playing the spin the wheel game, visiting the mobile ag experience trailer, seeing rice milled, cotton ginned, and letting children milk the Farm Bureau cow. 